Don't worry, I'll have her in the ladies' room at the right time. You just do your job, all right? Okay? All right, we'll talk later. Well, the rehearsal went like clockwork. You're all to be commended. Well, I hope the wedding goes as smoothly. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful wedding, Palmer. Have you seen Opal's dress? No, he hadn't, and he's not going to see it till I march down the aisle. <laughs> My bride to be oh, just a little bit superstitious. Well, I can tell you, it is really beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm late. Oh, no, 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 no
I have complained about you occasionally. <laughs> but the truth is, the truth is I love you very much. And uh, I want nothing more in this entire world than to see you happy. And if Palmer makes you happy, then so be it. Ladies and gentlemen, here's to the love that brought Opal and Palmer together. May it grow for the rest of their lives. Okay. To Opal and Palmer. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Opal. Thank you. Oh, now look what you've made me do. Oh, I'm starting to cry. Oh, sweet Palmer. Well, you, Opal. that's just so lovely. Oh, those emotions are just hanging out in your skin there. Oh, Elsa. Well, that was wonderful. Oh, is that better? It sure was. Thank you, darling. Just be happy, Mom. Well, let's eat. Let's eat. Absolutely, sir. If I may have your attention, please. Thank you. I, uh, I, I want to thank you for all being here tonight. I think you understand what an important evening this is for Opal and me. And uh, if you will indulge me, I'd like to say something to my lovely bride-to-be. Opal, you are, without a doubt, the most fascinating woman I've ever met. Fascinating? Yes. Me? Yes, 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 you. <laughs> Bevan knows I, I didn't intend to get married again. I mean, I thought that was just for the young and the foolish, and those years are far, far <laughs> So you can imagine my surprise when I found that I, I couldn't get you out of my mind or out of my heart. Heaven knows I tried hard enough. You tried hard enough, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm not finished. Oh, sorry, dear. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Opal, I want to thank you for being so tenacious, for lighting a fire under me. Because of you, uh, these past few weeks have been full of more, well, joy and laughter than I, I can't remember when. So, to you, Opal, the woman who won my heart, who barged into my life, and better still, decided to stay there. Oh, well. <laughs> so now tell me, do I get equal time here or what? For a rebuttal? <laughs> no. Just to bounce some of those lovely sentiments back at you. I'm a very lucky woman, Palmer. You know, here I am. I'm just surrounded by all the people that mean the most to me. I mean, my my son Tad, first and foremost, and his lovely Dixie, and and my friends Joe and Ruth and Jasper and Myra, and my my ex fiance here, who just gave such a a beautiful toast earlier. Thank you so much, Stan. And and you too, Will. But as much as I love all of you, there was still a, an emptiness in my heart until you wormed your way into <laughs> it. <laughs> so I'd like to ask all of you to please um, join with me in saying thank you to my future husband, to the man who makes my heart beat like a schoolgirl. <laughs> so thank you, darling. Palmer. Palmer? Yes. Oh, 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 o
<laughs> well, I can't see a damn thing. Me neither. Of course, it's so dark in here, I don't know how anybody could. Please, darling, you must tell me what upsets you. I can't. Well, how can I help you then? You can't help me, Palmer. Nobody can. I'm sorry. I can't marry you. What? What are you talking about? I can't oh, marry you. Marry you. <laughs> that you might just be overacting because your nerves are on edge? No, 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 look, look now, now is just not the time when you're so upset to be going making a big decision like canceling your wedding. Mama, come on. Open. The decision has been made. It's final. The wedding is off. Mama, you open this door right now. Let's not being ridiculous. I'll, I'll, I'll get it, okay? I'll get it. Mama? I'm out of the door! I'll kill you! Open the door. Where oh, is she? Uh, upstairs in a room. I'm going to put an end to this nonsense oh, right now. Oh, Palmer, take it easy. Don't pressure her. What do you want me to do? Quit? You just retreat for the time uh, being until she's come down. Where's her room? Uh, upstairs, uh, second door on the left. I want a word with you. What's up? You tell me. What do you know about this? It's a black piece of material. I found it at the chateau, caught in the door of the ladies' room. Do you notice anything specific about it? Uh, some silver stuff smeared on the edge. Opal described Clem's ghost as having silver on his face. You tell me, Will. How far are you going to go to keep Opal from marrying Uncle Palmer? I resent that. I resent that you would think I would stoop so low as to scare the wits out of Opal just to get what I want. Oh, really? You don't think blackmailing her about Clem's death scared the life out of her? Hey, 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 hey. You know I had second thoughts about those tactics, and I stopped them. Yeah, yeah, that's what you say, but there's just too much evidence to the contrary. What evidence? Well, this, for one, and then also the fact that you are the only person in Pine Valley other than Opal Purdy who knows about Clem and how he died. Oh, for the love of God. And also, every time that Opal has seen Clem, you have been somewhere nearby. The first time at the gazebo, the second time up in Opal's bedroom when she saw them in the window, and then, and then just tonight at the chateau. Yeah, well, we were all at the chateau, so yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, but you're the one who spilled the drink on her so she would have to run to the ladies' room where she just happened to see Clem. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. My own sister. Well, I'm sorry. I will be the first one to apologize if I'm wrong. Look, look. How do you explain how I got up in some silver paint and some black spook robe, scared Opal, raced around getting out of my ghost costume to pick her up at the gazebo or walk in the front door of the mart? Come on, Dixie, don't you see how nuts that is? I'm not going to let you fast talk your way out of this one, Will. Dixie, Dixie, there are a million people in Pine Valley. Look around you who don't want to see Opal and Palmer get married. Your beloved Tad, for one. Oh, come uh, on, Will. You Latowski, Phoebe Wallingford, uh, Marion Colby. I mean, why don't you just go chase after them and leave me alone? Opal. Opal, please, would you open the door and let me in? Go, oh, please, Palmer, please go away. Opal, please, would you try to remember? We have nothing to fear but fear itself. Nice. Oh, shut up. Are you lucky or what? We're in a rut. Opal, Opal. Opal, now we're not going to let a little bit of ectoplasm come between us, are we? That ectoplasm was Glenn's ghost. Glenn? Who's Clem? Oh, I can't tell you. You'd hate me forever. Oh, I couldn't possibly hate you. Opal, come come closer to the door. Now, are you, are you close? Yeah. Opal, I love you. I love you, and you love me, too. 
damn it. Yes, I do, Barbara. I love you with every pulse and fiber of my heart. It's what I have to call on to win. Well, I fail to see the logic of that, but, you know, I am willing to listen if you can help me understand. No, I can't. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. I'm alone. Oh, come on, dear. Come on. Open the door, please. Thanks. No, oh, but look at that. <laughs> no, no, you don't. You look beautiful. <laughs> If Palmer can't get Opal to let him in and talk to her, there may not even be any wedding. Well, should I try to help? No, oh. no, no. I think there are more than enough people up there already. I agree. But if oh. Tag comes down and asks for me, I'll be back in a minute, okay? Okay. But, I mean, where are you going? <sighs> Never a dull moment. Uh, well? Totally ridiculous. Uh, mission accomplished. Palmer got Opal to open up the door. Oh. They're up there talking even as we speak. Oh. Uh, that's it. Great. And I will maybe have a chance to get some sleep tonight. Where's Dixie? Well, she said she'd be right back. I... Uh... I Which? think maybe I'll make some coffee. I don't know. Ma, come on. I'll help you. Have a seat, Will. Looks like it's going to be a long night. Thank you. Ghosts don't ring doorbells, do they? Uh -huh. Hi. Uh, evening, Doc. Uh, are uh, Opal and Mr. C here? Yeah, they're upstairs. Come on in. Uh, thanks. Come on. Hello, Will. Mr. You. I just thought I'd drop by to see if I could lend a hand, maybe. Well, things seem to be pretty much under control for the moment. Yeah, Palmer and Opal are upstairs talking. Yeah. Yeah. Join us with some coffee? Oh, good. I'd love, I'd love to. Yeah, good. Thanks. Ruth, another cup. Whew, some strange night, huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Everybody seems pretty much on edge. Well, I'll say, I say, uh, I waved to Dixie on my way in, and uh, she seemed to not even recognize me. Yeah? What is she, on the porch? No, she's in your car. In my car? In my car? Wait a minute, excuse me, I'll be right back. doing in my car? What are you doing with this? It matches the silver on the material to a T. And I found it right here in your car. I want answers, Will. And don't you try and tell me the ghost dropped it off. You are really off the wall. Anyone could have put that under the seat of my car. You did do it. I did not. And how do you know I found it under the front seat of your car? All right, I did it. I hired an actor in Center City to play Come Boykin. I cannot even believe you. My own brother is capable of doing something like of this. what? Of protecting my future, of protecting my family's future, I would do it again without hesitation. Don't you ever think about the way it was before we came here? I try hard not to, I guess. Things are so good now. But it can all be taken away from us. I have no power, no real security. That is so ridiculous. That is the, I am working, and you have a fabulous position. But that's, that's only as long as Uncle Palmer wants me to have it. He could take it away from me at any second. Don't you realize that he would never do that to his family? Don't you understand that by now? He took it away from Mama. He took it away from Mama, his own sister. Don't you see? He could do the same to us, or worse. Mama forgave him. Why the heck can't you? Because I remember how she suffered. Because I know how sick she got. Because I saw it. Because I know she could hardly get out of bed. I used to steal from the diner. 
Why are you crying, Mama? It's strawberry jam and fresh biscuits. Aren't you and Dixie have some too? We're full up to here with biscuits. Aren't they good? You're going to get well now, aren't you, Mama? I'm real sick. Well, you gotta face up to the way things are. I'll take care of you, Mama. I got me a job Saturdays and one after school. I'll pay those doctors up in no time. My little baby. Who's gonna take care of you when I... I don't need taken care of. I'm strong. I'll make money and be rich just like Uncle Pete. And I'll buy you that big house down by the school, and we'll get Laney back. And I'll give Dixie money, and we'll all be happy, Mama, I promise. I'll keep us all safe forever. The day Mama died, I made a vow to her that I would fight. I would fight to see our family reunited. And that I would make sure that Uncle Pete gave us back everything that was rightfully ours. And I've almost kept that promise. Don't ruin it. And I'm so close. Are you going to tell Uncle Palmer or not? Do you realize his future happiness is at stake? Well, what about my future happiness? Well, I don't think you really deserve any consideration after what you pulled. Oh. Well, come here, come here, come here. Do you see Uncle Palmer or Mr. Yu over there? Do you see how sad he is? Look, I don't care what he did in the past. Well, he doesn't deserve this. I know you don't understand my motivation. No, look, I understand, all right? I understand. I just don't agree. Look, just don't tell Uncle Palmer. I'm begging you. No, forget it. Begging forgiveness is not enough. You've got to make amends for what you've done. All right. All right, I'll, I'll do anything. All right, you got to help get Uncle Palmer and Opal back together again. Okay, okay. If you promise me you won't tell no, anybody no, no, about no, Clem... No, 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 I'm going to set the conditions here now, not you. All right, I will get Opal and Palmer back together again. But it's going to take time. For... No. no, that's not good enough. You, you've got to do something. You've got to do something more. You've got to do it tonight. Tonight? Yeah, tonight. There's got to be a wedding tomorrow. There's no deal. And how the hell do you think I'm going to do that? Uncle Palmer just left and Opal's probably barricaded herself in the bedroom by now. i got an idea. You get on the car phone. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Get on the phone. Who am I calling? Clem's ghost. She saw a ghost in the ladies' room? And left in hysterics. Well, I would have, too. <laughs> well, it certainly put a damper on the rehearsal dinner. And for all I know, it might screw up the wedding as well. Well, well, look oh, what no, the cat no, does. No, no. <laughs> nurse, nurse, call security. This maniac shouldn't be running around on a loose. Who are you calling loose? Oh, it seems harmless to me. Don't worry, you're safe. He's with his people. <laughs> so how you feeling? Oh, well, surrounded by gorgeous women, night and day. Could be worse. I didn't ask you about your social life. I asked you about how you're feeling physically. What's going on? Yeah, the numbness is still there, but I think it's better. Good. Yeah, now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to turn in because my date has worn me out. Don't even try. Are you the one who tried to do wheelies <laughs> at the nurse's lounge? <laughs> is it my imagination or is Charlotte spending a lot of time with him? Let me put it this way. She's not even on duty tonight. So she just stopped by so she could say hello? Yes, he has no idea, of course. Mm, well, 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 well. <laughs> hey, hey, come on over, man. Sure, sure. Well, I'm doing pediatrics. Yeah, nice thanks. Right. Listen, come here, come here, come here. That was some message. What's wrong? You need money or something? What is uh, it? No, it's it's M. We in. Well, you guys had a fight? No, no, that's not it. Uh, well, what is it? Uh, well. Joy, please get to it, okay? I broke some land speed records I know. getting over here. Okay, she wants to get pregnant again. And, uh, I don't... I, 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 not that I don't want to have a baby, I do. Yeah, but... But I'm not sure that it's the right time. I agree. Yeah. Well, you know, it's... Uh, I mean, I... I'm, I'm... We're both in school, I'm working part-time, and I just don't think it's the right idea right now. And I don't know. I think you're right. You do? I mean, yeah. you don't think I'm being insensitive or anything? No, not at all. I think you're being very realistic. I mean, it's not that I don't want her to be happy. I think she deserves to be after everything she's gone through. But what would you do if, if 
you were in my place. It's a tough one, Joey. I mean, I don't necessarily know. I mean, one thing I'm sure of is I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell her flat out. I'd try to buy some time. Okay, how can I do that? Well, I mean, it's easy. Once, what's your next biggest worry uh, besides the baby? Money. Bingo. So you work with that for a while. You tell it that if you had a baby right now, you just end up deeper in debt. And that, that if you're going to have a child, raise a family, you think it's best that you guys should have more money in the bank first. Yeah, yeah. See, that's easy. Uh-huh. See why I come to you? You, you? you solve all these problems. You always have solutions. Any luck? You won't even open the door to me. Oh. Uh, don't answer it. Maybe they'll think we've turned here. Yeah, no, but it's, pro it's uh, probably Tad, uh, honey. Wait a minute. Hi. We have to see Opal. She's not in a very social mood still. She'll see us. Oh, hi. Oh. I'm Peggy Dare. Oh. oh, Madam Adair, this is Ruth Martin. Oh, how do you do, Madam Adair? The, uh, this is my husband, Joe. Oh. Uh, hello. Pleased to meet how, how you. How do you do? Yeah. We've come up with a way to get uh, Palmer and Opal back together. We too late, Dixie. Yeah, Opal gave Palmer back his ring. Oh, no. Yes. Another gig over before it started. No, no, no. We are not going to give up. Come on. Hey, wait a minute. Just, just what is this plan of yours? Don't ask. But if you hear noises on the roof, don't call the police. Noises on the roof? Come on, Opal. Open up. We know you're in there. Can a body get some peace around here? Come on. We have the answer to all your problems. Madam Adair is with us. Madam who? Adair, the world-renowned medium. Come on, open the door. Madam Adair feels that the spirit world is open to your questions. So come on, Opal. Open the door. Oh, oh the spirits are close now. I'm getting closer. Closer, even more close. They're very close. Mm. Oh, spirits, we wish to speak to an entity known to us as Clem Boykin. Mm. I hear you, yes. What? What is it? Patience, so for patience. We there is no hurry in the hereafter. But we've been here for ages. Uh -huh. Oh, nothing's happening, is it? Oh, the spirits are leaving. They tell me that someone at this table is resisting the message that wants to come through. Not me. Oh, Not me. We must work harder. Okay. Try focusing together. <clears throat> oh, we are open to receive you, spirits. Yeah, especially one uh, Clem Boykin. Wherever you are floating around out there, Clem, please get in touch. Opal, are your eyes closed? Uh, well, yeah. All eyes must remain closed. Okay, okay. If we are to keep in touch with our worldly inner selves. Mm -hmm. Boykin! Oh! Oh, Liz, what was that? Clem Boykin, are you there? If you are there, please, please give us a sign. I feel the presence over us. I feel it too. Oh, is he here? Is he here right here among us? Oh, oh yes. Uh, uh, Clem, we feel your closeness. No. Opal is calling you. She needs to speak to you. Oh, oh I can't breathe. I, I'm not going to die too, am I? Uh, uh, Clem says that will not be necessary oh, at this time. Mm, Opal Birdie. Are you ready to speak to the dearly departed? Ready as I'll ever be. Look. Oh, 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 it's here. He's yes, Clem. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's Clem. That's him. Just big as left, just like I told you. Oh, Clem, Clem, come in here and tell all the folks. Talk to the folks, would you? Oh, he is. Oh. He is. He's talking. Oh, 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 he's talking. Can't break the oh, Save oh, this oh, sentence. Oh, oh, yeah, but, but we're never going to hear a word he's saying with that window closed. Oh, oh yes, Clem, you may speak through me. <laughs> Can you hear me now, Opal, honey? Oh. 
Oh, pull, pull yourself together. Oh. Quit talking to him while he's still here. You're oh. looking good, honey. Oh. Mighty good. Oh. Uh, thanks, Clem. You look shiny. Oh, cut the small talk, Opal. You and me both know you only got one man on your mind these days. True. True, that's my former fiance, Palmer Cortland. Former fans? What have you been smoking that loco weed? Go back to that man, Opal. Do it tonight. But, but I thought you told me I'd be responsible for his death if I married him. Oh, that was a fib, sugar. Palmer will live a long and happy life married to you. You lied to me? Clem, Clem, how could you especially live in where you live now? Jealousy doesn't end at the grave, darling. You were jealous, Clem. What, you not even having a body at all. Clem, what is it like out there? Happy Tell trails, Opal. Happy trails. <laughs> oh, 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 Madam Adair, are you okay? Oh, hey. 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 Did anything happen? Look right there at that window. <gasps> He's gone. He? What you all talking about? Nothing. 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 Hey, I don't was giving up on you. I'm sorry. I had to go over to the hospital to give Joey some emergency advice on marital bliss. Ooh, well, he came to the right man. That'd be nice. Mm. I'm always nice. Where the hell did you go? I came downstairs and you disappeared. Oh, well, I was around. I was just probably getting my purse out of my car. Where's everybody? Well, let's see. Um, Mr. Yu took Uncle Palmer home and uh, Will took off. And everybody else took to their beds. Well, I'm going to go check on Opal, see how she's doing. Oh, 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 oh don't do that. It's so quiet up there. Come oh, on. Come, come on, on stay honey. With I me. have to go at least take a peek at her. Mm, no, let's just. Let's just do our own thing tonight. What do you say? Come on, come on. You know what I always say. Let sleeping dogs lie. Mm. I'd rather lie with sleeping dogs. Mm. Let's just go lie down. <laughs> come on. Here, 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 here. Put this on. Oh. 